So I spoke with Rom Nito. He said it would be helpful to teach people how to jump out of Hyper Sentinel Force um, via video instead of a text doc. So first thing you need to do is go to controls, go to Dreamcast, make sure that you have a button for offline record, which is F for me, and a point of playback versus J, right? I'm going to save this. I'm going to start Null DC. Make sure you select Emulator Null DC so you can be on Dreamcast. Let's go. Right? Let's drag this over here. Make this a little bit bigger. So what we're essentially going to do is go into Null DC. Right? We're going to go to Training Mode. We're just going to select any characters. We're going to go to Dummy Mode anyway. So it doesn't really matter who we pick, right? So that's the key thing. So let's hit start. Marvel versus Cap. And then let's go to training mode. And again, I'm going to show you how to use Null DC to jump out our uh, Hyper Seven Force. So you can practice on your own. So, like I said, pick whoever. I was going to go pick MSP, right? But for this tutorial, all I got to do is pick these characters. With the hyper gouge to you know infinite supers and then go to dummy and select manual so I'll do that right now. Great, I'm in training mode. Start training mode, training option, infinite supers, dummy, let's go to manual. Right? Pitch. Pick whichever characters you want. Pick MSP for first player. Now you're gonna say, "How do I control player two? I'm gonna hit F, which is you know offline record, and now you can control the second player. All right? I'm gonna pick Scrub. Don't hit any buttons. It's gonna go to training mode. Cool, cool. As you can see, I'm able to control Sentinel. So whatever actions I do with Sentinel, um, they can be recorded, right? So I'm gonna switch back to Magnus, right? I'm gonna do offline record. So on Sentinel, I'm gonna do an action. And then I'm gonna do, you know, point and play back. And look, I can control my first character and I can uh, attempt to jump out of Hyper Sentinel Force. 